The city of Las Vegas is located south of the Nevada Test and Training Range, or NTTR. NTTR is the largest contiguous air and ground space for peacetime military operations. The range is home to the famous red flag exercises, the most realistic air combat training game in the world. The typical 330 days of Kavu, Clear Air Visibility Unlimited, is a fighter pilot's dream. The airspace is 12,000 square nautical miles and the range covers close to 3 million acres. There are over 2,000 ground targets and over 35,000 sorties are conducted yearly. The Combined Operations Center, or COC, provides Ground Control Intercept, or GCI, for both red and blue forces. We have a Red Force Simulated Integrated Air Defense System, all monitored via the Nellis Air Combat Training System, or NACS. For Basic Fighter Maneuvers, or BFM, Air Combat Maneuvers, or ACM, and Large Exercises, the COC has agencies Showtime, who calls the kills and manages kill removal, and Blackjack, who looks after range safety. Besides Red Flag, there is also Green Flag, Joint Forcible Entry Exercise, or JFEX, and Weapon School Training. Any type of sortie you can think of, the range can handle it. Nellis Air Force Base is the primary airfield serving the NTTR. It's the most active airbase in the United States. No wonder it's called the home of the fighter pilot. It's named after Las Vegas resident Lieutenant William Harold Nellis, who died strafing a German convoy on December 27, 1944, during the Battle of the Bulge. The Warfare Center is based here, and it manages advanced pilot training and integrates many of the Air Force's test and evaluation requirements. The Thunderbirds are also based at Nellis, along with a Predator Reaper Squadron, a JTAC Training Squadron, some Special Operations Teams, and of course, the Aggressors. With the Las Vegas Strip and 24-hour-a-day casinos, I guarantee you'll have a great time while you are here. Let me tell you about the aggressors. The 65th Aggressor Squadron is assigned to the 57th Adversary Tactics Group stationed at Nellis. Our job is to teach adversarial tactics and provide dissimilar air combat training, or DACT, to allied air force units. We participate in Red Flag, Green Flag, the Canadian Maple Flag, and various other exercises including weapon school syllabus support, priority test mission support, and go on road shows for training with various units across the continental United States. 
We have been flying the FA-18C Hornet since September 1997. The FA-18C is a true air superiority fighter and a ground pounder that can replicate many enemy fourth generation fighters around the world. It excels in beyond visual range, or BVR, and ground attack, but is also an excellent dogfighter. Enjoy your time in the FA-18C. It will make you a better pilot, certainly in BVR, BFM, and ACM which is what you need to survive in a war fighting environment. Looks like we're here. Good luck with your posting, and I expect to see you on the flight line soon. Collect your gear, and head to Base Ops to review your first mission. Our departure time is 0730 hours. Get your bird started and we'll do a comms check when ready. Taxi to runway. Ford one one, clear to taxi to runway three. Ford one two, request taxi to runway. Ford one two, clear to taxi to runway three. Roll left, roll left. Flight controls. Flight controls. Uzi one one, Uzi two one, radio check. Charlie. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. Today's mission is a familiarization flight around the NTTR. Follow the flight plan as briefed, and I'll point out significant landmarks and navigation points that will help you execute your future missions. NTTR is an instrumented range. The original computerized tracking system was called the Air Combat Maneuvering Instrumentation System, or ACMI. It could only track eight aircraft. The 
new system is called the Red Flag Measurement and Debriefing System, or RFMDS. This system can track up to 36 aircraft. It is capable of tracking air-to-air, surface-to-air, and air-to-surface engagements on a three-dimensional display. Nellis Departure, Uzi 21. Good jet. Ready for taxi. North War. Uzi 21. Clear to taxi to runway 3. Uzi 11, Uzi 21. Follow me when ready. Uzi 11, Uzi 21. On your right is the home of the world famous Thunderbirds. They are the air demonstration squadron of the USAF, assigned to the 57th Wing, based at Nellis. Created in 1953, they are the third oldest formal flying aerobatic team in the world, after the United States Navy Blue Angels, formed in 1946, and the French Air Force Petoy de France, formed in 1931. That funny-looking pod in your wing is a Cubic Corporation Tactical Air Crew Combat Training System, or Tax Pod. It sends signals to remote sensors located around the range, which collects into a central supercomputer to process and display the data. This provides a much improved debrief in terms of accuracy and lessons learned. You can't hide any mistakes with this system active. One one request takeoff. Ford one one, you are cleared for takeoff and ready. Climb three zero zero at QFE two eight decimal zero three. Ford one two, request takeoff. Ready. Climb 300 at QFE 28. Decimal 0. 
Nellis departure, Uzi 2-1, request clearance for takeoff. Airborne. Intercept the LSV-15 DME arc at or below 8,000 MSL and arc south. Intercept the LSV-R-267 for 15 at or above 10,200 MSL and track outbound. Cross FYTTR at or above 14,000 MSL. Uzi 
one one, Uzi two one. On our north is Gas Peak. It is directly north of Vegas and is the highest peak in the Las Vegas range of Southern Nevada. Use caution when flying in this area due to civil aircraft flying in the North Las Vegas training area. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. We are at nav point FYTTR. Turn right and proceed to nav point Jason. South of us is Mount Charleston, officially named Charleston Peak. It is the highest mountain in both the Spring Mountains and Clark County. It is the eighth highest mountain in the state. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. To the north is Creech Air Force Base. So watch for traffic in this area as you head to the range.
one one, Uzi two one. We are at Jason. Turn right and proceed to Nav Point Flush. Uzi two one out. Transit route from Jason to Flush to Garth is the corridor typically used by Red Air to get to and from the range. When using the Ravelli MOA, the BD corridor is used with range entry and exit at Mopar. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. We are at flush. Turn right and proceed to nav point Garth. Uzi 2 1 out. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. Garth is the range entry point for Red Air and is typically called Gate 1. We will check in with the range safety controller, Blackjack, when we get close to Garth. Blackjack, Uzi 2-1. Request clearance for Uzi flight of two FA-18Cs, south of gate 1. How copy? Uzi 2-1, Blackjack, contact. You're cleared at gate 1, your discretion. Altimeter, 2988, millibars, 1011. 
Weather is clear, visibility good in all quadrants. All control in the clear. Have a good day, sir. Uzi 2-1, roger. Cleared for gate one. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. We are at gate 1. Turn right and proceed to Nav Point, Belted Peak. Uzi 2 1 out. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. We are in range 74C, about 10 nautical miles northeast of the no fly zone around Groom Lake. This restricted area is also known as the container. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. We are at Belted Peak. Turn right towards Student Gap. Uzi 2 1 out. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. We are approaching the town of Rachel. See those green crop circles ahead? They are the result of an irrigation method called center pivot irrigation.
vehicle is located on Highway 375, also known as the Extraterrestrial Highway because of its closeness to Area 51. Area 51 is just south of our flight plan in the no-fly zone around Groom Lake. Rachel is a frequent stopping point for many UFO hunters. Most of our air combat training will be conducted north of Rachel. North of Rachel is the 3740 line, the northern border of the R-74 range. This is used to help de-conflict inbound and outbound traffic. The rule is north in, south out. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1. We are approaching the town of Heiko. Heiko isn't a town anymore. More of a ghost town, but still used by farmers and ranchers alike. East of Heiko is a gap running between two ridge lines. It's called the Parak Summit Pass, but pilots refer to it as the Student Gap. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1, we are above Heiko. Turn right and proceed to the nav point Trout. Uzi 2-1 out.
Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1. We are approaching Trout. Trout is one of the range, entry, and exit points for Blue Air and is typically called Gate 3. We will check out with the range safety controller Blackjack when we get closer to Trout. Blackjack, Uzi 2-1, request clearance, north of gate 3. Uzi 2-1, Blackjack, contact. You're cleared at gate 3, your discretion. Have a good day, sir. Uzi 2-1, roger. Cleared for gate 3. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1. We are at gate 3. Turn left and proceed to nav point Dream. Uzi 2-1 out. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1. We are now in the Sally Corridor. This transit route is typically used by Blue Air to get to and from the range.
one one, Uzi two one. We are at Arco. Turn left and proceed to Nav Point Acton. Uzi two one out. We are approaching the town of Moapa on the right. It has the second and third largest structures in Nevada, the Entrevision and Kemp Towers. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. We are at Acton. Turn right and proceed to Nav Point Vet. Uzi 2 1 out. On the left is Moapa Valley. It is at the north end of the Muddy River, which connects to Lake Mead. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. We are at Vet. Turn right and proceed to Nav Point Apex. Reduce altitude to reach Nav Point Apex at 4000 MSL. Uzi 2 1 out. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. That completes our tour of the NTTR. There are many other areas around Vegas to explore, including the Hoover Dam, Lake Mead, and the Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area. Hopefully this flight has prepared you properly for the missions to come. You are cleared to RTB to Nellis. Remember to park in the area reserved for the aggressors where we started. Uzi 2 1 out. Uzi, one, one, inbound. Uzi, one, one, flying heading two, two, zero, port one, two, QFE, two, seven, decimal, nine, five, runway two, one, to pattern altitude.
Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. We are at Apex. Apex is the eastern landing IP for Dallas. Uzi 2 1 out. Altitude. Altitude. Uzi, one, one, request landing. Well done! That was a good flight. You should have no problem navigating the NTTR airspace now. Good luck with your future missions. 